Hello everyone, welcome back to FX021. So today I will go through this uh, project, uh, show you how to make this uh, wind, rain, and uh, you know these uh, simulate these plants. So let's get started. Uh, so first thing, uh, if we disable this, and you can see this is my scene. Uh, got some terrain with some mountain nodes, uh, these chairs, uh, the road, the light, so it's uh, just some basic thing uh, assemble here. And uh, I also import uh, some uh, plants from the mega scan. Uh, this, uh, this is this, the plants I use. So yeah, and uh, that's the thing. What the scene looks like. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is to uh, simulate the the wind. So so uh, just want to say that uh, if you see, it's a pretty big scene. It's twenty meters here. So. Uh, this it's a huge thing. Okay, so the simulation can take some time, and so basically what I do here is uh, it's it's just some smoke here. Uh, if we play, you can see I emit my smoke from here and to this direction, and I just reduce some density to it. So how do I do this? So let's go to the camera view. And first I create a grid. So the grid is here. And if we show our object, and you can see uh, this is my thing, okay? So I just place my grid here so it can emit smoke and to this direction to make it look like wing okay so because basically all these smoke is generated on this grid so uh, give him a normal and then I scatter some point scatter some point on it and uh, just some pyro sauce here so because we already scatter point here so just keep input and uh, give it a density value. So now I have the density and P scale. P scale is, uh, P -scale is here. And then I, I use uh, assign some noise to it. So the point number is not changing, just the color of the point is changing. So uh, just some uh, noise uh, went to the density and the color. And I promote the offset value here. So if you want to promote parameter, you can promote here. And if and I animate this based on the time, so it will move on the x axis. So if we play, you can see uh, this is my noise. So my smoke will uh, emit from these white areas okay so just give it some uh, random feeling and uh, and I just uh, volume rasterize by attribute so because we we bend to the density so the black area doesn't have any density so it's not generated so we, now we have these uh, rasterized attribute here. So if we play, basically the same. Just it's now a it's now a VDV here. So you can see uh, before it's a point attribute density. Now because we rasterize our density attribute, now it's a, it's now a VDV attribute VDV. So it's density volume. 
So you can uh, play the vocal exercise here to make it more precise. Yeah, and uh, normally we'll, I will add a velocity uh, and it's pointing to the normal direction. So if you see here, uh, you can see the normal here. So this is the direction we want to emit our smoke. Uh, if you want to emit smoke, you can uh, you can do this. So v at v equals at normal. So your your velocity will be the same as your normal direction. So it will basically emit your smoke uh, this way. Okay, but we can add some noise to it. Uh, this is one way you can do it. So you you just when, once you get the velocity attribute, you can you can here just rasterize your velocity attribute here. So now you can see you got the v v d v, and just uh, merge them with the uh, the density v d v uh, here and plug into the server. It should work. But I want to uh, give some randomness to the velocity so it's not straight. Uh, going strict uh, like this direction so I just want to add some noise so this is what I do here so uh, let me turn off the normal hide other geometry so uh, here I import the ter terrain I have and merge with my this grid so this is this and uh, basically I want to generate a, a a noise for your for my velocity uh, so in this area so I use the bound here because I don't want to generate everywhere so I want to limit my limit the size of the calculation area so all these velocity uh, attribute uh, velocity uh, thing will only calculate in this bounding box here so once I have the bounding box uh, I am using the volume node here, change this to vector and call it a well. And you can play around the size. This is pretty much the same as the uh, vocal size here. So yeah, now it's a uh, volume with uh, velocity. Okay. So now we have the volume velocity. Uh, uh, node here uh, this node is uh, you know you can uh, visualize your velocity and uh, add some uh, noise to it so what I do here is I just turn on the curl noise and uh, play around with the skill here and also the the velocity direction so negative three negative three uh, basically, if we see it in my camera view, uh, you can see, so this is our x direction. So it goes, uh, x goes that way, so we want to go this way. So it's negative 3 and also on some negative z value here. So z value goes here. Uh, also uh make make the negative so it goes that way okay so basically the wing will go this direction with some noise applied to it uh, so then i just cache it okay uh, so once you cache your velocity here uh, you can visualize by uh, uh, these two nodes so this will scatter uh, scatter some points in the volume and this will uh, visualize the trail of your velocity because you know it's hard to see your velocity in here like it's completely white so I have made a play blast of it so this is my velocity uh, with noise now once we uh, uh, cache our velocity you will see if we see it's cut 
it's uh, it's not a VDV, it's a volume. It's uh, you can see it's velocity dot x, y, and z. z. If we see our density attribute, not attribute, density VDV, it's just single density uh, VDV here. But our velocity are separate in the x, y, and z direction. So we want to convert that to VDV and merge all the x, y, z uh, in one uh, VDV. So, so just convert VDV, so change this to VDV and uh, VDV vector merge. You can see we have the x, y, z group here and merge our VDV. So if we visualize this, uh, you can see now it's a single velocity VDV here, okay? Then we just merge uh, the, the density and our velocity and we feed that into our solver. So in a solver, let's go to the first frame. In the solver, uh, I add some collection here and just some simple pyrosparse uh, and here I just first contact geometry and I source in the density make it 15 times bigger and uh, I have input my velocity so veil here veil here make it seven times stronger and here I think I only change add some disturbance and uh, turbulence here and make the swirly size uh, bigger and influence the density field now here and I think that's it yeah so then I just stop input my cache result compress a little bit and cache it out so uh, see this is my cache cache the smoke so and also you can see this uh, uh, bounding box here uh, I have create I think I have create a reference box here yeah so this is basically the size of my scene so I don't want to smoke calculate forever like if we don't limit the region the smoke maybe at at uh, maybe at uh, frame 70 it already goes here and keep uh, keep like uh, going forward and that will make our file size huge and takes a lot of time to uh, simulate so if we uh, have this uh, reference box here, so I have this size and center here, so we can copy my parameter here. And let's go to the WinSim and go to .NET. So under, I think, you see, uh, this is reference, this uh, smoke object uh, here they have the center the max size for uh, smoke to cache. I just copy the parameter here. So this is a uh, link to my uh, Reference box here. So my smoke will only cache in this area. So if you see uh, Actually at frame 7 uh, You can see 80 here you can already see it's hitting the bounding box here so it's not calculating and if we go to our camera view you can't see it you can't see it's colliding here so it's a good way to uh, save your discs uh, disk space and uh, yeah so uh, after I cache I feel like it's uh, the smoke is too dense so I I have the volume buff here so the volume buff here uh, it's just a constant value multiply the density and feed that into the density so if we see it you can see it's the density is reduced so just 
now you go to the camera view you can see this is our uh, smoke and the type shift node if, if you see here I, I, I am shifting it uh, 74 frames so if we go to our first frame uh, it's uh, you can see it's already gas smoke here so if we go to our camera view you can see it's already covered by the smoke so if we don't have that the first frame is the first frame so you will not see the smoke so uh, so we want to pre roll about 77 78 frames so uh, I want the first frame to be covered with my uh, smoke so I just time shift my uh, cache so the first frame is actually the 48 frames uh, and here in, in my cache I think uh, I cache to the 168 frame so I have enough room to shift my time shift my cache yeah that's how you uh, how I made my wind so if we play it you can see and uh, yeah we can turn on the light so this is uh the viewport looks pretty good so yeah thanks for watching see you next time